In today's video, we have five titles that are similar to Escape from Tarkov that you can play right now or that are coming out very, very soon. Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. We're going to be doing something brand new here for my channel. I've never made a video like this before, so if you do enjoy the content or find it informational today, hit that like button for me and throw some positive criticism in the comments below. I definitely want to make sure my content is better if it's lacking in certain areas. Now, I know there's going to be the one comment that gets mad at me for all the self-promo today, but listen, we're talking about five different titles, and I either have content for these games or I have channels for these games. So I'm going to be self-promoting. I got to do what's best for me, baby. So don't even tell me about that. I understand you don't like it sometimes. At least some people don't. But I got to make sure you guys are well-fed with information. Let's hop into it, man. Let's be honest. Escape from Tarkov is an absolutely amazing experience. It is something that if you like FPS games, you've either played it or watched others play it. And it is an extremely fun title. If you'd like more Escape from Tarkov content, I have a channel for that. Aces EFT with almost 15,000 subscribers over there. We have a great community over there and I'd love for you to be a part of it if you're still looking for a little bit of your Tarkov fix. But if you are truly sick of the game and that's the reason you're here today... Well, I got some other alternatives for you. Number one is The Cycle Frontier, available on Steam and Epic Games for free. It is a free-to-play option that is very similar to Escape from Tarkov. Now, before I tell you more, I have a channel for this one, too. It's called Aces TCF. only has 142 subs. Really need to get that to 1,000 subs. So, guys, if you do anything for me, hit that subscribe button over there, Aces TCF. The Cycle Frontier is Space Tarkov, but it has its own little spin-offs. You're a prospector going down to Fortuna 3. You're looking for minerals, and you're trying to compete with the other prospectors on that game and on that planet you have solos duos and trios you have the free to play obviously but there is a couple paid options that give you a little bit of gear at the start but i want to be very clear i personally don't think it's pay to win but i figured i'd mention it in case some of you guys do want to get a little bit of a head start honestly man the cycle frontier is a really great game for when tarkov gets boring it is a casual relaxing experience that is similar to the escape from tarkov genre there's a lot of things that I've taken strictly 100% right out of Tarkov's book, and there's a lot of things the cycle did that are brand new spinoffs to their own game. The Alien PvE is definitely one of those things that is brand new for the Tarkov genre because it adds a really interesting dynamic to the quote-unquote AI. It's not like scavs in Tarkov that you can one-shot. These are motherfuckers that are sometimes giant that are going to take a lot of ammunition to take down, and best taken down in groups of two or three you can do it solo but sometimes it's not that fun i gotta be honest the cycle frontier is a great option for beginners but if you're already a pretty pretty well established tarkov veteran it's probably not the game for you truthfully but if you need something that's not as hardcore as tarkov the cycle frontier is a great option for you and hopefully i showed you some gameplay personal gameplay in the background Number two is going to be Marauders. This is going to be your next best option for Escape from Tarkov right now, in my opinion. However, it just got done with, I think, its third beta test or its third test. I think one was an alpha and two were beta, if I have my information correct. And the full release has not yet been announced when it's going to be. It will be sometime in 2022. Obviously, we are pushing August, so that's a four-month window. It's going to be coming out soon in that full release. You might have another play test in there. But Marauders is actual Space Tarkov. Now, the last one was Space Tarkov, but it has like this alien aspect and everything. Marauders is genuinely 100% Space Tarkov. It's based in the 1980s with a spinoff that we have some sort of technologically advanced space system where we have space warfare. You get a ship and you can steal other people's ships, but basically in your ship you have an option to go into a raid area or take your escape pod and go board somebody else and steal their ship there's a whole bunch of different things you can do in marauders but once you do enter a raid area there's raiders it feels exactly like an escape from tarkov raid there's plenty of loot opportunities and truthfully it's the next best thing to tarkov if you already really enjoy tarkov and you're not really into the cycle frontier being a more casual experience marauders is available for 27 dollars on pre-order for marauders.game and team 17 store website if you don't make it for the pre-order window you're going to be looking at 30 bucks i have a little bit of marauders content here on this channel aces gaming but have been considering moving marauders content over to aces tcf the cycle frontier channel as if that game and its next wipe does not do anything when it comes to numbers it doesn't get a nice little revival if it kills the game then I will be rebranding Aces TCF to just an Escape from Tarkov genre channel. So that'd be perfect for you guys. 
Next one is one that I don't have that much experience with, is Hunt Showdown. So since I don't have any experience with Hunt Showdown yet, I do plan on purchasing it and playing it very, very soon. I'm going to be taking my information directly from its Steam store page. So just want to let you know that this is completely unbiased as I've never played this game before and I can't give you any personal experiences. The gameplay will also be directly from Steam. Hunt Showdown is a high-stakes tactical PvPvE first-person shooter. Hunt for bounties in the infested land. Kill nightmarish monsters and outwit competing hunters alone or in a group with your glory, gear, and gold on the line. And the gameplay should be in the background for you guys. This is a paid title. It's going to cost you $39.99, but does commonly go on sale for $20, $19.99, and some of its additional content, the DLCs, do go on sale as well. This is one that's been on my wish list for a while and definitely one I'm probably going to be picking up here very, very soon. This next title might shock you a little bit when you hear the name, but trust me, it has gotten some updates lately and has been extremely enjoyable for me personally. It's going to be Hazard Zone. Now, you might be thinking, well, what is Hazard Zone? I think I've heard that name before. Well, you probably have. It is the game mode that is like Escape from Tarkov in Battlefield 2042. Now, I know half of you probably cringed hearing that title, but let me be honest with you. Season 1 for Battlefield 2042 has made a lot of quality of life changes that make the game playable. Battlefield 2042 is an amazing title now, just with a very small quality of life update for Season 1 in that game. And I gotta be honest, when it first came out, it was not fun. It was not playable. But now it is absolutely 100% fun and playable. And that doesn't just go for the multiplayer. That goes for Hazard Zone as well. The Hazard Zone experience has been updated and now... It is really, really fun and enjoyable. All the things that I was complaining about before Season 1 for Hazard Zone have now pretty much been gone, and I've been having a really good time. So there's no way that I wouldn't put Hazard Zone on this list. I have a little bit of content for Hazard Zone here on this channel and plan on having more here on the Aces Gaming channel because it is well-deserving now. Hazard Zone is going to cost you $20 to $60, depending on if you're finding a sale or not. And you are going to have to purchase Battlefield 2042. That could be seen as a pro or a negative because you get the entire multiplayer and you get everything that comes with Battlefield 2042. However, at the same time, if you just wanted Hazard Zone, well, you still have to pay for Battlefield 2042 and install the entire game. Now, Hazard Zone is basically a Call of Duty style Tarkov where you go in, you kill a ton of shit, which if you have a really high kill game, it's just so much fun, man. Um, you kill a lot of stuff, you get these data drives, and you extract with them. And that's basically it. You have two extraction windows that every player on the map is fighting for, and it is just its own dynamic, and it is so much fun, man. I just can't put into words and truly give you guys the the best experience of it if you if you've never played it you just have to get on in the season one update of battlefield 2042 and try hazard zone and if you've never even heard of hazard zone or if you've heard of battlefield 2042 and you're a little shaky on picking up the title take it from me somebody has almost 2300 hours in escape from tarkov the hazard zone is a really enjoyable experience the next and final option is one that is not released quite yet. This is scheduled to release sometime in 2023, at least that's what I've heard from the leaks. Now, I'm not sure how much information I'm allowed to give about DMZ, but basically DMZ is Call of Duty's Escape from Tarkov game mode. So obviously we saw Battlefield 2042 take on a similar game mode such as hazard zone like an escape from tarkov genre we're going to see call of duty do the exact same thing in late 2023 the current schedule at least that i'm aware of is that call of duty is going to release its title modern warfare 2 the new 2022 edition and then it is going to release a war zone 2 and then after war zones 2 release sometime late in 2023 is when we will see dmz release I think Hazard Zone has a lot of potential to flourish between DMZ's release and right now. And I'm hoping that it does get the attention it deserves. DMZ, I think, is going to pretty much blow open the Escape from Tarkov and the whole genre itself market. Because Call of Duty has such a large player base. Millions upon millions upon millions. Even if 10% of that player base gets attached to the Escape from Tarkov mode... You're going to have a lot more eyes on games like Tarkov, The Cycle, Marauders, Hunt Showdown, and Hazard Zone. And hopefully those players convert over to the actual games and enjoy the PC gaming experience if they are on console. There's a lot of potential for the future for this genre, and I only see it going up from here. 
DMZ is going to release hopefully in late 2023, but I would say has the most potential out of all of the titles on this list here today due to being a triple A studio with a lot of capital, a lot of resources, and a lot of great people on the marketing team. Guys, that's going to do it for the video here today. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, sponsors, and equipment in the description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you for stopping by. I'm out.